Hey guys, happy 2024 and welcome to Your Adventure Compass. Today we're in Farmington Hills and you might be wondering why. We're back at one of my favorite places. We're back at Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. Now you may or may not have heard, but the museum recently got some terrible news and this um, strip mall that they're in uh, has been scheduled for demolition. As you can see here, this building is empty. There are some buildings down this way, and I don't know what area of this mall is planned for demolition. This used to be a uh, California pizza kitchen, and I don't know that it's still open over here. Take a quick look. No, I don't believe this is open anymore. It does look vacant and the signage is all missing, but there is a couple of other spaces down this way. And if you look at the sign way off in the distance there, you can notice that most of the stores that were on that sign are now gone. So they have plans to put a mire in here, I believe. That's my understanding anyway. I'm not sure when that's going in, but uh, that is the plan. There's supposed to be a mire going in this area. Now, the slightly good news about this is that currently Marvin's, which is situated in the back here through this uh, unique little space, has got a uh, reprieve from the current demolition plans. They apparently are holding off on the demolition for this particular area. So my assumption is it's either going to be on this side or over on this side, but not including Marvin's. So we'll hopefully be able to come here for years to come. If you've never been to Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum, it was originally owned by Marvin Yagoda, and he passed away a few years back, and it is now run by his son. And wait till you guys see what's inside. If you've never actually seen or been to Marvin's, you are going to love this. It's amazing, and it really does need to be preserved in some way or form, even if it can't continue at this location. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, now is the perfect time to do so. Just click on subscribe. Don't forget to like the video. It really helps out with this channel. As you can see, there is a ton of traffic back here and the parking lot is full, so it could be kind of busy and noisy inside. Bear with me. All right, guys, this is the entrance and I wanted to point something out. Just notice up here on the ceiling is a bunch of pinball boards. These would be the, uh, the boards, the main boards where the ball would roll around on the pinball. Kind of cool. Never noticed this before. It's been here for a long time. You just never really looked up. There's even a sign that says play pinball here. All right, let's head on inside. All right, just to give you guys an idea, this is the ceiling inside Marvin's. They've got all kinds of stuff lining the ceiling, all kinds of decorations, signs, you name it. There's old animatronics from different places. There's these planes right here. If you look at those planes, there's a spot, and I gotta remember where it's at, where you can put, uh, I believe 50 cents or whatever it is, into this machine and the planes will start flying around. And these go all throughout the building. And guys, this is where you start up the planes. It's right by the entrance, right next to the door where you come in. And uh, this will start up the plane conveyor belt that's up in the ceiling. Let's try it out. Hopefully, if they have to relocate, I hope that the planes do not go away. I hope they're able to recreate this in a new location because this is just too cool. All of these different planes on this conveyor belt, and they go throughout the entire building. I'll, I'll show different parts as we're in different areas. This is just the first aisle with the pinball and everything else. 
after walking in, the very first aisle that you come to has a bunch of arcade games as well as pinball machine games over here. And then right back behind there, there's a kid's carousel. And I remember when my daughter was younger, she rode this a few times. She absolutely loved it. It was one of her favorites. I think she rode this at least six times when she was here. We've also got some of these uh, smaller horse type rides. This is a camel. And uh, this one here, it's like a uh, mouse in a car. I wonder if this was Chuck E. Cheese at one point. Um, another thing to point out here is this has a camera. It's a uh, kind of like photo booth, sort of. And it takes a picture as you're riding the car. There is also a train over here. And this aisle has some very unique things, which we're going to do some of in just a minute. But first, I want to take you guys back up to the front real quick, because there is some cool stuff up here. This one right here is Estrella's Prophecies, and she's a fortune teller. It looks like, uh, kind of like grandma here. She's got her little uh, fortune telling ball and some tarot cards. We're going to put a quarter right in here. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to hear what she's got to say, but we'll give it a shot. I don't think she's actually talking. She's just uh, kind of moving around. And in a minute, she's going to shoot out a fortune telling card, which will appear at the bottom. And we should get a card here. Oh, there it comes. This is my uh, fortune telling card. This will be your lucky year. Enter business without fear, risks. This year, you will. Uh, you well can take, buy them money you will make, money in so big a pile you will always wear a smile. In addition to this wealth, you will always have good health. Well, that sounds great. Of course, it says uh, Marvin's on the back to get their information. All right, very cool. Now, right next to it, over here is this uh, unique looking thing. It is a uh, man in a electric chair. It says danger high voltage. This one's 50 cents, but this is kind of cool. I've seen these before. This is a mini scale model of the original. And I forget the name of the artist, but uh, he made a small version. There's only a few of these around. Let's put in our 50 cents and see what he does. Yep, that's about it for that one. Now over here, they have one of these uh, old time kind of machines here where you can uh, look into the viewfinder and it will show you, this says Transcontinental Railroad, 1869, drop point and slot and see it all. And I don't know that we're gonna be able to see through this with the camera, but uh, let's give it a shot and see what happens here. Now I'm actually looking through the other side I don't know if this is going to show up or not. I can see it looking through the other side. And there's the train. Ah, this this is actually a uh, a cutout of the world's heaviest man. And we saw one of these uh, in Gatlinburg at the uh, Ripley's Museum. This is uh, Robert Earl Hughes. And he weighed a thousand and sixty nine pounds. Oh my gosh. World's heaviest man uh, died in 83. And over here in the next aisle is Dr. Ralph Binge and Purge, County Food Inspector. And uh, I've noticed over the years, he, he definitely needs a little uh, little repair job. His, his neck is, he's got some sort of uh, 
a disease there that's eating away at his neck. I'm not sure what it could be. Let's let's find out. Let's put two quarters in here and, uh, and see what that is. Oh, oh, that's that's not good. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you should see a doctor, Ralph. And right next to Ralph is Ask the Brain. And this guy in here is a fortune teller. Let's uh, stick a couple of coins in here. See what he's got to say. Greetings. Why the psychics come for help? The brain. <laughs> You're in for a hair-raising experience. But first, could you watch the booth while I take a bathroom break? <laughs> oh, never mind. My head won't fit through the stall anyway. I've been in this booth way too long. I'm so out of shape, you could donate my body to science fiction. <laughs> well, let's see now. What can I do for you? You're here with a romance question. Or is it a questionable romance? <laughs> Let me turn it on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Ah, ah, oh, ah, by the way, by any chance could you stick another 50 cents in the machine? Okay, okay, a deal's a deal. Your answer, maybe yes, maybe no. Check your DNA. <laughs> Next! And looking down below, there is a fortune for us. We'll just reach down there and grab that. And right there is my fortune. This one I've done in the past is Tic Tac Toe Challenge. And you have to beat the chicken and you win 100 tickets. Well, I don't really need any tickets and I have done this before, but you're basically playing Tic Tac Toe. There's the buttons that you press to select your areas against the chicken. Of course, the chicken being a computer. And right next to him is the Happy Good Fortunes. And I do remember this guy from the past. I do enjoy this one. He's uh, 50 cents, and you get a fortune out of this as well. So uh, let's try this one out. See how this goes. Welcome. I am Mr. Harry Chien. So, it's a fortune you seek. I see many great things in your future. You will meet a well-dressed stranger who will give you fancy food, fine wine, and cater to your every need. Be sure to leave a nice tip. <laughs> no, really. I see that the future holds great things for you, like dessert. <laughs> I'm so sorry for making joke. I've been cooped up in here for a very long time. Insert more coins to hear what your future has in store for you. And I believe we were supposed to get a fortune, but uh, I'm not seeing a fortune card come out, so might not be working right. All right, now this one here, I don't remember this. It says, Louis the Love Shrinks Love Shack. Uh, life love, or love life screwy, talk to Louis. And uh, sorry guys, you're getting a little bit of a reflection there. Maybe if we film him from the side, you'll, you'll be able to see a little bit better. But I don't remember doing this before, so we're definitely going to do this one today. He's uh, 50 cents. He's also a fortune teller. Put our quarters in down here. Yeah. 
Let's see what the love machine has to say about you. Yes, I'm about to go round and round, round and Oh, say it ain't so! Says here your love is cold, pal. But I think it's remarkably hot when dipped in that there green stuff. Yeah, wasabi! Many people can't pronounce your many names. You need a lot of preparation, but are finished in a flash of them chopsticks. Usually people initially satisfied, but 30 minutes later, they crave more of you. Oh yeah, you are also ridiculously expensive. Good thing this reading wasn't, huh? <laughs> now, move along, Snookums. I got bigger fish to fry here. All right, and again, I don't see a fortune coming out of the slot, so this one also may not be working completely. Maybe they're out of fortunes. And guys, I want to point out real quick, I'm in the second aisle, and here's the planes. They're going overhead. Somebody put a quarter in, and they're going around again. And right across in the same aisle, there's a couple of photo booths. There is a Guitar Hero, which we all know very well. And then there's these kind of arcade games over here where you can win different prizes. This one uh, next to it happens to be like a shooting arcade game. Kind of set up like a carnival, and you have to shoot the ducks and the different things that are on there. It's kind of fun. Maybe we should try this out. All right, guys. Putting my quarters in right now as we speak. And it looks like we get 20 shots. Here goes the bow tie. Let's see if we can get one of these ducks down here. Let's try and get one of those pies. I'm gonna try and get one of these ducks, but it's hard because there's only a little area to get them as they go by. I've got one. Uh, I wasted my. There we go. I missed these down here. Oh, I missed the ones at the very bottom. Didn't even see them. And apparently I got a lot of tickets. Wasn't even expecting that. I was just doing it for fun. All right. Don't remember seeing this before. It says Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's got a little eye hole you look through. And uh, it takes 50 cents. So we'll put this in and see what we can see. Let you guys look inside there. Oh no, the lights went out. Is that it? Is there something else happening? Let's see. Still shaking. Oh my. How did that happen? <laughs> you know, that's the beauty of coming to this place. You can always find something new that you haven't seen before. No matter how many hours you spend here, there's always something new to see every time. Either it's a new box or a new game or new something, but it's still a lot of fun every time. And this whole wall here has all kinds of unique arcade games, all video games of sorts. All right, well, here is the auto wed and my wife and I are gonna renew our vows over here. And uh, it says it's $2, so let's put our coins in. Four, uh, six, seven, and eight. Oh Please select your unit. Press one for straight. Press two for gay. Press three for lesbian or for for best friends. 
Please enter the groom's name. Then press one. Please enter the bride's name. Then press one. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedding husband to have an helpful for day? Do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife to have an helpful for this day? Press. Please collect your rings below. You have exchanged these rings as a pledge of your vows by each other. Congratulations, you may now kiss. Please take your certificate of union and thank you for choosing out of wet for your special occasion. If you were happy with our service, please retain your receipt for a 10% discount with auto civil arms. All right, we got our rings and we got our marriage certificate. And it says uh, this is certified that we are joined in marriage. On this day, in the presence of Minister Marvin. There's my wife's ring, and here's mine. And uh, let's see, let's take a look at the back. It says you were joined in ceremony by the world's very first auto wed. Oh, unfortunately, this, this marriage uh, is only valid while we were here at Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. <laughs> but that's fun. That is definitely fun. And over here, this one says Marvin's Lunchtime. And uh, this is a uh, automaton. We're going to put a quarter in and see what happens. Check that out. This guy's uh, eating spaghetti out of a bathtub. That'd be kind of cool, right? And uh, these guys, they look like they're just pounding on the table, waiting for that guy to carve the turkey. But, uh, just to show you all of the gears and everything that go into making something like that. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, this one, this is one of my favorites. We have to do this again. This is the Three Trials of Terror. And just just the look of this this machine, this, this creepy looking thing is just, uh, it's got spikes on the top. There's a grate and it's all got rivets and looks like it's metal and everything. Um, and I believe this, yeah, this machine was built in London, England in, it looks like 1930 and featured as an attraction at the Crown Jewels, where the Crown Jewels were exhibited. Brought to America by Marvin in 2009 for the enjoyment of his patrons. And uh, you view here, I don't know if you guys can see that, there's a view area, and you put your hand in here. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to put uh, 50 cents into this machine here. So we put our hand right here. Interesting. Yeah, I got the, uh, something brushed up against my hand on the bottom, and uh, it also looked or felt kind of warm, so that was kind of uh, a little creepy. Here's another one very similar. This one is uh, coming to my parlor, cure your fear of spiders. This one's a quarter. We're going to put our uh, quarter in down here, place our hand here, press down, and uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, ah. <laughs> and that little slot there's a uh, thing that gets your hand it tickles your hand for a second <laughs> and 
here's another one here called King Cobra, and this is kind of the same concept. You uh, you put your hand here, and you're supposed to keep it there, and the Cobra strikes at your hand. Another, uh, I think they used to call these peep shows. This one says, uh, Great Exhibits 3D Stereo Views. Now, obviously, I could not show you stereo because I only have one camera and uh, it's got one lens, so that, that's not possible, but uh, this is kind of unique. Looks like the videos that play. San Francisco Earthquake, New French Cook, and 1890s Women's Lib, and also World War I aircraft. Let's, let's try it out for a quarter. Uh, you guys won't be able to see the whole thing, but we'll, we'll show you a little bit. All right, I'm going to take a look now. And it's it's kind of 3D. I mean, it's not, not bad. And over here, we've got another automaton that says, in an attempt to show his displeasure at doing the same repetitive task day after day, this automaton is trying to destroy its own mechanism in the vain hope that he that his creator might design something more interesting for him to occupy his time let's try it out it's a quarter put one of these in and we'll see what happens check that out he's jackhammering his own pedestal And right here we have the disgusting spectacle. Let's put a quarter in. And here it comes. Uh-oh. Maybe it's not so disgusting after all. I don't think that one's working right today. And right here we have the great Chapandoff. We're going to try this out. We just got to put uh, 50 cents in here, like so. And then I got to put my hand inside here, as you can see. Well, that's that's rather uh, unfortunate. Looks like uh, he's not working either. Well, that blade is supposed to come down and uh, makes it look like your hand's being chopped off. But it's not working. Unfortunately, a lot of these are not working. I think this was maybe not the best time to come right now. Check this out. It says uh, five cent digger. Now, when I was a kid, I used to go to Cedar Point a lot, and they had these, and this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite things to do. You get the uh, the little control for the crane, and then uh, you can crank it around. But you can uh, you can kind of move it back and forth with those knobs, and you would try and collect things, prizes usually. This one's uh, this one looks like it's quarters. I don't know how you dig quarters out of there, but apparently maybe you can. I don't know. Now there is a uh, automated band here that you can uh, play for 50 cents and it's got all kinds of instruments and there's drums and a uh, player piano and all that stuff. But uh, this is often broken and today is one of those examples, unfortunately. This one looks kind of fun. looks like a, uh, almost like a Vegas type game where it pushes the coins off one way or the other. It appears to be working, but it does say no quarters and I don't have any other change, unfortunately. So we won't be able to try that out. This is rather interesting. It's a uh, penny Ferris wheel. And apparently you put pennies in, but unfortunately all I have is quarters, so I can't make this work. But it uh, looks kind of fun. It's supposed to be able to you're supposed to be able to drop a penny in here 
it comes out right there. And then uh, you have to time it just right, I guess, to get your pennies on the right wheel on the right area. And then they will either dump down to the bottom or down here and hopefully knock some off. Kind of an interesting little game there. And right here it says shake with Uncle Sam only 10 cents. He will tell you the strength of your personality. And uh, he, I guess he lights up here in the middle. And in true American fashion, he is no longer 10 cents. He is a quarter inflation. So we will stick our quarter in there and uh, we'll give him a shot. We'll, uh, we'll push this in and squeeze his hand and see what happens. And he's not doing anything because it looks like somebody unplugged him. All right, we're just gonna pretend that I am hot stuff because <laughs> I'm not putting another quarter in. Over here, it says, what shall we do with the drunken sailor? SS Jolly Roger. And uh, I'm kind of curious what this one is. I don't remember seeing this before. machines back further in over here I don't know if these are working there uh, there's no light and there's no sign of life so I'm not not too sure let's see this one takes a dime I have no dimes uh, this one does take a quarter I guess we give it a shot see what happens let's uh, let's try it out maybe it'll work oh well, it's it is working it's unfortunately dark there's no lights and uh, Let's see if I can, uh... there we go. Might be too late. I think I missed it. It already did all its movement. Darn. Let me take a look at the other one. Since we don't have any dimes. It's kind of an interesting little room scene. I'm sure the doors open and maybe the dresser. Kind of cool. And this one down here, it's like a uh, train set of some sort, and it's taped off, so this one's not working either. It looks like, unfortunately, I think they need to hire some people to fix their machines. Most of them don't seem to be working. Well, let's hope, let's just hope that the old King Cole marionettes can sing a song for us. Let's see what happens. Yes, they are working. This guy right here is Robert Warlow, and he was the world's tallest man. And it's a, it's kind of a statue of him. I believe these were at the uh, Guinness Book of World Records, as well as the Ripley's Museums across the country. And Marvin has brought one here for us to view. Can you imagine being that big? My gosh, that is just, that's a true giant. Well guys, they have a press penny machine here. And what better souvenir, it, you know, should this place ever go away? I, I definitely want one of these. I've got my penny and my quarters loaded up. They're gonna go in here and they're gonna press a penny for us. So let's hope that this works properly. And it does, it's working. It's going around, penny dropped. And it looks like 
yes, it worked. And there is our pressed penny. From Marvin's, we have a souvenir. Very cool. And check this out, guys. I just noticed it says, come cruising to Merry Magic, the Boblo Island boat. Picnics, dancing, new rides, good food. Detroit, Michigan, six sailings every day. Woodward at the River, Moonlight Cruises. I remember going on several of those. Some favorite local bands when I was a teen would play on the Boblo boat. Pretty cool. And over here is a passion tester. I'm gonna drop a coin in and uh, we'll see how this, uh, this goes. And it says, I am flirty. <laughs> By the way, some of those uh, games give out tickets and uh, this is the uh, counter where you would redeem those tickets. You'd come over here and uh, cash your tickets in for various prizes. Of course, the, uh, the prizes take tons and tons of tickets, so it's always in their favor, not yours, but still it's a lot of fun and it's a little something extra for your efforts of playing the game. Never play the games trying to win the big prizes like the unicorn or whatever the biggest prize may be here. You'll never get to that point without wasting tons of quarters. But if you just want to cash them in for like some candy or something like that, it's a nice little treat to go along with your fun for the day. And speaking of those tickets, this entire area in the back is filled with games they give out tickets there's all kinds of different things over here there's the uh the coin push there's uh this machine here which i'm not even quite sure what it is i guess you drop a quarter in and it lands on certain things to give you a certain amount of tickets there's uh fish bowls over here with a video screen behind it there's another one over here with the ball drop there's uh jumper over here like jumping rope there's another game over here similar there's the uh kind of uh price is right style wheel here where you can spin to get hundreds of tickets they also have ski ball there's a drum game kind of like guitar hero another one over there that does not seem to be working tons of games in the back over here that give out tickets so you can get prizes even more back this way they also have a ticket station here to count your tickets. There's a basketball game over here. And even more back this way. It looks like there's some cool stuff back here. Let's see if we can check this out. Aha, and it seems like some of these have been moved. They were up front before. They're now back here. Different uh, things. This one's a, uh, a bar scene. I do recall this one. This is a lot of fun, actually see if we can uh, put some coins in here and get this one going. All right, got my coins ready. We're gonna drop those in. And apparently it says the bartender is Marvin. So let's check this out. He's gonna do a trick with his cup, by the way, so pay attention. Look, there is nothing under the cup. Puts his cup back down. And check that out, there's a ball under the cup. How did that happen? Underneath you can see all the gears and everything that makes that happen. Pretty cool. Right next to it, we've got bumper cars. How cool is this? There's a uh, Marvin bumper cars. I didn't know he had bumper cars. Let's try out the bumper cars. This has Marvin's up top. And we got a bunch of bumper cars in here. Hopefully they move around. This would be really cool if they do. Oh, check this out, guys. They're not moving a whole lot, but I, I think that purple one, I think it's supposed to be Marvin in there. Uh, 
unfortunately not moving a whole lot, but kind of get the idea there. Another crane game over here. Another one of these. And then I've seen this before. We did this last time. Where you squeeze the hand and it vibrates. The polka babies. Let's see if the polka babies are working today. This one's a lot of fun too. Oh, they are. They're dancing around. Check them out. And of course, there's some polka music. That is a lot of fun. And over here, we got another automaton. Let's try him out as well. Oh my gosh, how is that happening? He's he's floating on his chair above it. Check that out, guys. That's pretty cool. You can see all the mechanism underneath that makes it happen. Pretty neat. And right here we have the laughing sailor. Let's give him a try. Put a quarter in the slot and see what he does. That's pretty interesting. And right over here, this one's a little, uh, a little on that toilet humor, what every man must do before he takes a poo. And uh, we'll put a quarter in and you'll look inside. That's right, kids. <laughs> Gotta take your pants off before you go. It's kind of frowned on if you don't. And there's a couple of machines like this that says uh, novelty prizes and gifts. This one's uh, 50 cents. We'll put in a couple of quarters Enjoy here. Another coin. And we'll see what happens. We have a funny bear. We know the green pop code. Do you? We only use green pop code. Do you? Hey, bear, going home. And we got an egg. And what's in our egg? It's a little bracelet. And it says we recycle eggs. So I'm going to put the egg in there for them to recycle and use again. And I think this might be the last thing I haven't checked out. Yes, is well known for slow reflexes and persistence. The Michigan Anteater demonstrates the infamous hunting technique which has contributed so much to the animal's other lack of success as a species. Put our quarter in and we shall watch and see. Now if you guys saw that he stuck his tongue out. Let's see if you can get him again. And he's a little bit slow. A little bit slow. That tongue came out too slow and he missed the ants. What a shame. Watch it again. See, he missed it again. And some other things I wanted to point out back here. Notice those flags up at the top. Those flags would actually wave back and forth. And I believe, I believe those were from Chuck E. Cheese back in the 80s. And uh, those flags would kind of just go back and forth and kind of wave themselves when things went on during the animatronics show. We also have this, uh, this creepy looking woman here in an electric chair and I don't know anything about her, but uh, she's kind of creepy looking, huh? Over here there is a big sign, classic sign from the, uh, I don't want to say five and ten, it says five to one dollar store. So this was kind of like a uh, dime store back in the day, sort of. Uh, I know you guys probably can't see this too well. It's a little dark and uh, my viewing angle is not too great, but it's uh, 
Marvin's Amazing Water Fountain. It looks like it would uh, drop water down into that bathtub and spin things. It's not working now. I don't know if it ever was, honestly, but it's pretty cool looking. They've also got some, some old circus signs and banners here on the wall. Carter the Great, the Vanishing Sacred Elephant over here. Uh, this one says he can materialize the dead. There's one over here. He's got a crystal ball. It says uh, Carter the Mystic. Kind of interesting. Next to that, Carter the Great again. Condemned to death for witchcraft. Cheats the gallows. And uh, up above, if you guys can see that one, George's. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. This one says George, the Supreme Master of Magic. Carload of scenic effects. And tucked away back in the corner over here is a big boy. They even have a big boy here. And it looks like the uh, most tattooed woman. That may have been uh, from Guinness or from Ripley's at some point. Plenty more of those circus sideshow banners over here. There's even one for the Three Stooges. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. Sorry, the viewing angle is not the best. I'm like pointing almost straight up looking at these. The uh, Sorkar, the world's greatest magician. Alexander, the man who knows. And as I mentioned before, you can see the planes again all the way down to the front door, all the way over there. By the way, check this out. This guy here says, Big Marvin's used furniture, and I believe that Marvin owned a furniture store prior to opening this marvelous mechanical museum. Got a monkey band up there. Plenty of uh, posters along the way. There's a Disney poster. Some, uh, some old neon that's not lit up anymore. There's another plane. Over here, there's a sign attached to this plane. Can't quite read it. Interesting, it's a, it's a model of a famous plane, apparently. Up there, a sign that says, Dick Tracy Detective, and, and that is a clock. So that is probably an older piece. There's also a uh, Betty Boop that's not lit up and a Marilyn Monroe as well. A couple other neon signs not lit up. Rock around the clock. And over there, just beyond the beam, there is a Mickey. And I just noticed this one over here exposing the sex mad maniacs of the underworld on screen. And the one below that says the, Lind the Lindbergh kidnapping case. See the electrocution of Richard Hauptman on the screen. And right there, a banner for Marvin's itself. And a huge banner up there. I don't know how old that is. Kind of cool, though. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this trip out to Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. I know we had a good time. Guys, we don't know how much longer Marvin's is going to be here or if it will be here forever. I recommend coming to check it out. There'll be a link in the show notes. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on the compass to stay subscribed to future videos. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.